Jaya, gorgeous beings. The topic for this video is new galactic superpowers for humankind. Wow, this is one of my favorite topics, as you can see. You know, I'm talking a lot about galactic evolution and how to expand our lives in these realms of beauty and uh, into our future. And um, there is something essential that we have to understand, or an essential way to look at all this. Imagine that the Earth is like a training ground for humankind. This is the place where we have been seeded. It means that there is a conscious design in our evolution and there are forces at play <laughs> which are designing or helping us evolve in the right direction. It means that we are not doing this alone. When we talk about you know, aliens out there and forces that are ready to engage into our consciousness. Those forces have been with us since the beginning of time. Again, what I'm saying right here is just my feeling, okay? You don't have to agree with that. This is not some form of uh, debate, you know. It's through um, intuitive research. You discover certain things and this is what makes sense to me. So, if it makes sense to you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine as well, okay? So something that we have to understand it is that if this is a training ground, imagine that the earth is like a training ground where we are learning as a human race to behave and to mature and to empower ourselves, then why is this, um, you know, a training ground and what's coming next? And what's coming next, obviously, has to do with us activating, you know, our light bodies, our full potential, potential as a human race and um, the crickets are coming in <laughs> here is one more thing to optimize to optimize okay so there are different places or different areas that we need to optimize one of them is sex and relationships interpersonal relationships so that we don't enter into micro conflicts with the people around us you know that we learn how to live in harmony imagine that suddenly we are in a spaceship together with a tribe of people with different races different religions different sources and suddenly we are up there you know what is it are we going to start fighting with each other and arguing over stupid things are we able to enter into this degree of deep profound resonance um, you know the second area is the body right how, how many of you feel like you have been optimizing your body already that you are in full resonance with uh, with your being with the potential that your body has are you optimizing your nutrition are you able to, to really take care of this temple of this uh, beautiful vehicle that uh, we receive at birth the third area is the mind right so thought processes emotions feelings imagine that you are again you know evolving into this uh, space being into this light being and you are still dealing with you know childhood issues or um, uh, self limiting beliefs or stuff like that so my belief is that we need to find ways of optimizing all these things as human race you know the fourth area is identifying your mission your you know how to how you make money on this planet how do you survive what is the contribution to the world and to humankind right that's another area and then the the, the fifth area is to um, enter in resonance with the invisible it means that this is the spirit the spiritual evolution that we're in and find ways of activating your destiny line and understand the meaning of all of that okay so to summarize it I I, I put it in five branches right this is the vital Tantra system it's sex body mind money and relationships I know it's much vaster than that but this is how you can simplify it within the sex for instance there is everything that has to do with relationships interpersonal connections why do I use the word sex you know it's a long story but basically because I feel that this is at the core of a lot of what's happening in the dynamics of what we share okay so um, the the idea that we can as human race activate this highest possible resonance where we are able to go for the next step you know right now as a human race we are not yet optimized in the 80 to 100 percent zone it means that we are still using a lot of our resources to kill and destroy each other which is not a good thing okay 
and the way we are treating each other in relationships is not yet optimized either the way we are treating our bodies need to be optimized as well instead of being you know eating junk food and being enslaved by our um, you know food addictions and stuff like that we need to optimize all that we need to find ways of entering into deeper degrees and levels of of resonance and so you know, imagine that right now the force that are watching over our evolution are checking on us, right? And they go like, okay, last time we gave you power, you know, let's say, for instance, atomic energy, you fucking blew, <laughs> blew up a whole city, right? Or you're creating things that are not in alignment with the highest resonance. And yes, some of the power that you're receiving is used in very constructive ways. And other things, or the powers that you're receiving, are used for uh, self-destructive purposes or uh, abusing the environment. And so that's not good, right? So when we receive a new hint, new powers, what are we doing with them? This is the core question. Are our values, our truth, is it aligned with the greater good? Or are we still trapped in uh, very egoic patterns, in self-absorbed mindsets that let us spin into our own space without putting all that in service to something that is much vaster than ourselves? So entering into this field of the collective, into this unified field is very important because um, we only get a little bit of power. With greater power comes greater responsibility. So if you go and say, wow, you know, I would love to receive um, unlimited abundance, for instance, right? And this being who is watching over you says, yes, sure, receive that. <laughs> Here, we give you unlimited abundance. And then you start using that to you know, build factories and abuse the planet and uh, abuse the people who work for you or, you know, be in a state where you start, you know, neglecting your body or entering into self-destructive spiral or are eventually not happy at all with your life because you don't know how to master your energetic system, you know, then the idea is this, it is that we need to optimize our lives. We need to be able to actually um, have a certain degree of optimization in our lives so that we score in the 80 to 100 percent range in all those different areas that I mentioned. And once we are optimized, then we can start, <laughs> you know, reaching for the stars. Then we can really start entering into the next cycle of evolution. But think about what's going on right now on this planet and how we are relating to each other. Think about the things that we are doing to each other. Think about the billions trillions of dollars that are invested into creating war machines. It's crazy, right? So if all this energy was invested into bringing harmony, creating peace, sustaining the planet, you know, creating a paradise on Earth, then those forces that are watching, they say, great, you did a great job on planet Earth, you are ready for the next step of evolution, now start colonizing Mars or go to this other galaxy, or start evolving into light beings. I don't know what this evolution looks like. I don't know what the next step is. I have some ideas, but this is basically the point. Basically, what, what I hear being said to humankind right now is get your shit together. Okay, get your fucking shit together. Otherwise, you know, we are, we are stuck here. The way it works is that if there is something in this harmony in your field, in your system, in your relationships, if you are trapped in micro-conflicts with people, it's very hard for you to receive new powers because what do you do with those powers? You know, imagine that um, a country which is already at war receives new power. What do they do? They invest that into um, destroying another country, into creating hate fields into creating cyber attacks, for instance, for, for each other. You go like, no, it's, uh, we are not going to upgrade our powers to the, our maximum potential unless we know how to tame and master what we already received. So you might go like, yeah, you know, let's blame the government or let's blame other people. No, no, no. <laughs> this is something that you have to look at yourself, okay? You have to look at the places where you are having an impact, the places that you control in your own life, your time frame. How do you use your body? Okay, is your body optimized? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of your relationships to people? 
Are you in a field of resonance with the people around you? Do you know how to create uh, you know, beauty and resonance in, in your relationships? How are you treating your kids? How are you treating your mind? Are you in alignment with you know, what is resonating in your field? Okay? These are the questions that you have to ask yourself. Is it working? And if it's not working, if you need a more deeper degree of alignment, then identify for yourself. And the blaming others for the inconsistency on the planet Earth is not good enough, okay? It's, it's really within your range, within your microcosmic environment that you have to create and activate the codes, the perfection codes, okay? Perfection, when I say perfection, it's more like mastery or optimization, which is in the 80 to 100% range of optimization. It doesn't mean that you have to be absolutely perfect in everything, okay? You can still be human, you can still have shadows, you can still have moments of insecurity. But the point is this, it is that we as individuals need to activate this truth in our, uh, in, inside of us this is where it starts. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Think about what that means. Be. You must embody it. And once you start embodying, once you really own it, once you understand the dynamics and you are able to manage your relationships, you are able to manage your sources of income and the way you contribute to the planet, you're able to manage your money. You're able to manage the way you relate to food. The way you relate to your mind. Are you depressed? Are you high? Are you happy? Are you happy to change? Are you able to change energetic and mind states at will? Okay, so when we talk about superpowers like you know, teleportation and flying and uh, instant omnipresent and chi manipulation and stuff like that, you know, all those superpowers are great, okay? We, I think that as a human race, we will receive like things that we cannot even conceive. And it's already happening right now. But, you know, if you want to raise your vibration, raise your frequency, you have to start by cleaning up your act. Okay, detoxify your system, do all these things. And once you are in this place of high resonance and don't be too, um, too much in a hurry to get all that because the, the depth and the, the beauty of harmonizing your system and entering into this state of resonance and bliss is so powerful. Okay, so once you are in that state of resonance, once you know how to take care of your life and you are in this high frequency and you know how to sustain this high frequency, then you start influencing other people, systems, organizations, you know, the human systems. Maybe you go, you go into politics, start changing policies, start influencing other people. Maybe you start teaching. Maybe you start, uh, you know, doing therapy with people. God knows what. You are going to find your unique way of contributing, maybe through technology, maybe through activism. God knows. But the point is this. It is that first you have to understand who you are. First, you have to get this vehicle, this personality, this egoic vehicle that you are in right. You have to get it right. You have to tame your animal instincts. You have to know how to play with your energy, emotions, understand your shadows, understand all that stuff and master it and play with it. And once this is happening, as this is happening, you will see that there is a, a, an openness of space and more power coming in. But if you are given lots of power straight away while there is disturbance in your field, if you have a fundamental conflict with somebody in your life and you increase your power, that intensifies the conflict. If two countries are already at war and you give both of these countries more power, guess what's going to happen? The war is going to intensify. <laughs> we don't want that. So what is being said is say, learn how to manifest peace, learn how to harmonize, learn how to optimize this vehicle as human race. And we will receive more and more downloads. And um, so it's useless. It's, it's very important not to start, you know, blaming systems out there. It's like, take responsibility for yourself. Do you have your act together? How optimized is your life? If it's not optimized, start doing something about it because 
projecting, trying to control things that are out of your field is very hard. What you can do is control your own life. Gain control, gain mastery over your own system, what you can control. You know, your body, your mindsets, the, your, your profession, career, your destiny line, all that stuff, your relationships to people. You, you gain a sense of mastery over, over all of that and then you can start influencing. But start right there. Be the change that you want to see. <laughs> Be the change that you want, you want to see in the world. It's as simple as that. And of course, you want help with that, reach out. You know, send me messages, connect. We can have sessions one-on-one. -on -one. There is events coming up, you know, all of that. But this is not a, a commercial invitation, okay? You can work with whoever you want if you need help with that. This is not about that. It is like, take care of yourself, invest in yourself, take time to look at your dynamics and, and master all of that. Master the beauty of being human and uh, new powers will be coming to your field. I love you.